what we're going to look at is, once again, two-step equations, but with fractions, okay? Now, if you don't remember two-step equations, please refer to my video previous to this in YouTube. Okay, let's make a move. Now, guys, quickly, fraction means division. Don't forget that. So x over 3 plus 1 equals 6. My first step is to locate floating operation. The operation has nothing to do with the letter at this stage. So x over 3 are bound together. And then we've got plus 1 floating around. So my floating number or floating operation is plus 1. Opposite of plus 1, throw it to the other side, becomes opposite, reverses. Opposite of plus 1 is minus 1. 3 equals 5. Okay, so we reduce the two step into a one step equation. x over 3 equals 5. x over 3 means x divided by 3. I circle 3, take it to the other side. Now, remember, it's the operation that gets reversed, not the number itself. So it's opposite of divide is times, times by 3. x equals 15. There's the answer. Question two, same thing. Make sure the letter is on the left-hand side when solving these equations. Starting from the left-hand side, my floating number, negative five, floating operation. Opposite of minus five is plus five. So whenever you take it to the other side, the operation reverses. Equals eight. Three plus five is eight. Now, y over 2 equals 8 it means y divided by 2. And opposite of dividing is multiplication. Multiplying by 2. y equals 16. Okay, so 8 times 2 is 16. Okay. Now, notice this has not been any negative number in front of the fractions. Or we don't have a negative fraction. We'll do that very, very soon. Okay. And this one here, minus 4 plus q over 2 equals 3. Is the letter on the left-hand side? Yep. Okay. No issues. Is there a floating number? Is there a plus something or a minus floating around? Here it is. Okay. If it's not, attack the fraction then. Opposite of minus 4 is plus 4. Same process. Nice and easy. 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay. You can use a calculator if you need to. Now, Q over 2. Q divided by 2. Circle the 2. Opposite of a fraction, because it's division, is multiplication. Okay, to undo a division, we do times. Times by 2. And I'm just going to write this here. Q equals 7 times 2 is 14. Okay, excuse the board from moving a bit. Next one. Left hand side. I'm already zooming, I can already see that the letters are on the left hand side, right? I don't, I don't check. But in this case, on the left hand side, I've got a number. Now you can solve this equation straight away by starting from the right hand side, but I'm going to keep everything consistent on my channel. I'm going to do it from the left hand side. I'm going to flip. So the number is, letter is on the left hand side. Okay, I've just flipped it. That's it. Floating number, negative 5. Okay. M over 7 equals 3. Minus 2 plus 5 is negative 3. Use your calculators if you need to. Don't put too much stress on yourselves. M over 7 means M divided by 7. Now this becomes my floating number. Opposite of division is times. Times by 7. M equals 21. The magic number. Okay, so that's basically equations of fractions. I'll do two examples on when we have negative fractions. Let's just say question five is saying minus x over three equals, oh sorry, plus two equals five. Okay, start from the left hand side. Okay, what's my floating number? All right, the number that's not attached to the x, it's plus 2. Opposite of plus 2 is minus 2. Okay. Minus x over 3 equals 5 minus 2 is 3. Now, 
fraction means division. A floating number, in this case, or the denominator, is minus 3. It's opposite of dividing by minus 3 times by minus 3. X equals negative 9. Because 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Okay. Let's have a look at question 6. Let's just say if we had minus y over 7 minus 2 equals... Okay. Well, guys, the battery will be shutting off soon. So I'll quickly do this. Equals 8. Minus 2 is plus 2. It's 10. Take the negative 7 across. Times by negative 7. Y equals negative 7. 